All right, well, Karan, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, we're hearing a lot about multi-cloud. We had our announcement earlier, Oracle Database at AWS to join in that. But just to start, can you explain what we mean when we say multi-cloud? Yeah, totally. I think multi-cloud means very different things to very different people. You know, the way we think about it is twofold. One is general purpose workloads, so customers that want to modernize their workloads, but they want to use the best of breed from any cloud, right? They may want to use some stuff from OCI, but they also may want to use some stuff from any of the other cloud providers. Um, and for that, we have the interconnect, right? So you have a general purpose interconnect that connects these clouds together. You're able to move data around freely, so you're really able to build multi-cloud applications. The second portion of this pie is you have customers that have very stringent enterprise grade requirements. So maybe they use Rack or Exadata or really mission critical database technologies. And for that, we have Oracle database services at a cloud provider. So we've done Azure, we did Google, which is actually live today, and we announced AWS. So now customers get the same level of performance, flexibility. The same thing if you were to pick OCI, you now get that in any other cloud the same way. Yeah. What, uh, what is Oracle's strategy when it comes to multi-cloud and how does this further differentiate us from say other cloud providers? Totally, I mean, I think, you know, uh, customers are at a point now where, you know, they've already picked their first cloud. Yeah. They want to be able to have a much more diverse set of portfolio of services and offerings from different cloud providers. If you look back, right, in private cloud days, customers used to be able to put, pick a hardware from here, pick software vendors and bring it all together for a private cloud deployment. Right. Well, you can't do that today in public cloud. And so what we're trying to do is change the industry a little bit. Mm. And if a customer's picked an Oracle database, why do we care where they deploy it? Right. We should give them the first class experience that they need to be able to deploy it anywhere they want. Whether it's AWS, OCI, Google, Azure, it doesn't matter. Mm. You can run it everywhere, anywhere, even DRCC and Alloy. Right, right. So let's dig into the benefits just a little bit under the covers here, one more layer. Um, we say that they get the convenience and control. Can they extend OCI-based OCI controls into these partners' data centers? Well, the good news is the way we enable the same level of flexibility, performance, all these things for customers for multi-cloud for database is by actually expanding OCI's core functionality into a partner's data center facility. So with Azure, with Google, and AWS, what we're actually doing is we're extending OCI into the partner's facility, the data center. And we're connecting the two together so that we are remotely managing it and customers get access to it. And so customers get essentially the same service if they were to actually use OCI direct. So all the database innovation, so let's say 23AI as an example, well, it's available on day one on the other clouds too. So they get all of these things under the covers but they get the front end experience of the cloud that they've already picked. They get to use you know, their cloud's uh, commitment dollars. So if you've committed a bunch of dollars to AWS or Google, mm -hmm. you can use those dollars to consume the Oracle database services in that experience. But under the covers, it's just OCI. Right. Yeah. And you talked about the, the advantages of, of being able to run your workloads wherever you want to. So, are there improvements in terms of performance for multi-cloud apps um, and you know, cost savings from the data egress fees? Totally, totally. I mean, I think one of, the, one of the core tenets of these partnerships is that we have to make sure that the performance char characteristics or the, the expectations of performance don't drop. Right. So for example, um, in, in all regions that we expand to this database offering, we have an SLA or SLO of two millisecond round trip latency. So if you're running in, let's say an application on the OCI side and you're running a database on the other partner, it should look like it's the same cloud or it should feel like it's the same cloud. Right. So we, we make sure that you know, the data centers are close together. In areas where we don't have a region, we build one for them. In areas where you know, we, we place the capacity in the right manner so that customers get that low latency for their apps and their database. Got it. So you've kind of been hitting on this, but I want to just, again, dive in just a little bit deeper. How does this, we've talked about how this benefits Oracle's customers and a little bit about partners' customers, but can you dive in deeper about what our partners' customers are getting out of this by, by partnering with Oracle? I think the great part is, if you look at all the partners that already sell Oracle Database or OCI, 
The good news is they're ready from the start because mm -hmm. the core competency here is database. Right. It's Oracle database. So the, the decades of experience they already have helping customers migrate Oracle database from their on-prem to the cloud can just be transitioned to this, right? Like most of our big SIs and partners and VARs, they already have big Oracle practices to run apps, run and manage apps and database. They can literally now do that on any cloud. Mm. The technology is the same. The capability is the same. The performance characteristics are the same. It, now it's just like, well, let me help you move this to the cloud. The cloud could be anything. It could be OCI, AWS, GCP, Azure. Yeah. All the idiosyncrasies of each cloud just sort of goes away. Correct. Yeah. What, what, what about, you know, we have some customers, you know, we've been uh, in Azure, a database at Azure for a while, and, and now we're going live with, um, with Google. Um, what, are, what are some of the benefits we're starting to hear from some of our early customers of this? Totally, I think one of the biggest things that we've seen from customers is um, the, the purchasing experience has been very good mm. um, because now instead of having to work with multiple different sales teams, what they're doing is they're able to bring their existing contracts that they have with OCI or Oracle, um, their license contracts, et cetera, and essentially they can pay for their database usage through their existing commitment. So a great example of that is Vodafone. Vodafone has a dedicated region with OCI where they're modernizing their database estate and their application estate. But on the other hand, they also have their big multi-cloud customer of ours with Azure, right. Right. where they're actually moving a lot of the database into the Azure um, you know, environments as well. And so they're marrying all this thing together while they're able to pay for it wherever they want, however they want. Yeah. So the flexibility is the biggest issue, the biggest sort of benefit. The second part of it is easy to say, but it's actually very hard to accomplish, which is the technology part of it. It should just work. A customer launching an Oracle database or an Oracle Exadata uh, through one of these partners is no different to, let's say, a customer launching SQL Server or a customer launching Bigtable or BigQuery from Google. It's the experience is native, it's the same, um, and the customers, it just works as expected. Right. And so, but a lot of work obviously goes into making that happen. Yeah, but I, I think that's an important point is when they're in there now, they can also choose to access those other applications and services Correct. in those clouds as well as they would want. Yeah, in fact, uh, so much so that, you know, of course the core tenant being is you get the core database capability, but those database services are integrated into the partner's cloud services. So you get the audits, you get the logs, you get the networking logs, you, right. get, you get to set up the network the way you want it. Um, you know, for example, in Google, one of the things that we're showing in my keynote is we're showing how Gemini interacts with your Oracle right. database, mm. right? Azure's doing the same thing with OpenAI, as an example. Right. So having hooks into the Oracle data natively and making it very simple one click is really the benefit that customers get out of this. Yeah. Well, speaking of customers, um, are these partnerships available to customers now? And if, if so, how can customers learn more about them? Yeah, absolutely. So Azure, we've been live with them for forever, it seems like. Yeah. But you know, we've announced now Autonomous Database uh, is now live today. Uh, we've announced additional 14, or I think it's like, don't quote me on it, but there's a lot of regions. Yeah. All, <laughs> when all said and done, it's going to be over 30 regions for Azure. Um, we are announcing four regions live with Google for the database, 11 additional regions for interconnect, and then 14 additional regions uh, that we're announcing as a roadmap. So you're just gonna have a lot of regions. Right. Whatever regions you want, Europe, JPAC, LAD, North America, you're gonna have these capabilities. And then with AWS, I think the fact that we announced an AWS partnership this year, at the same time we announced Google a quarter ago, right. I think speaks volumes, and, and we're gonna have our first region before the end of the year in, in, in North America. So. If you have a cloud, if you've already picked a cloud, you can simply go in and start launching Exadata in database, oh. or you can always speak to your Oracle rep. There you go, there you have it. Trick question, what's your favorite cloud? Oh, OCI. Okay, so I'm just making sure, just making sure. All right. Nice, Fred. <laughs> you didn't know there'd be a quiz on this. Yeah. There you go. Uh, well, great, thank you so much for joining us, Karan. Thank you.